Lego. 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 Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking hey, news. everybody. Welcome back Breaking to Back to Brick. News. I'm your host, Garrett, and this is the podcast where we talk to fellow AFOLs from around the world about their Lego builds and how they went about designing them. And we get down to the Breaking News every Friday to discuss all the things Lego's been up to for the past week. Now, if it's your first time listening, make sure to subscribe to the podcast. You can do that on any of your favorite podcast listening apps, such as Spotify and Apple. You can also leave us a review at Apple Podcasts so that we can get the word out to all those people that are interested in a Lego podcast to come listen. You can also support the podcast at direct.me slash back to brick. That'll help us keep the lights on and keep all the news and as well as helping all these designers get promoted, continuing for years and years to come. Now, I just want to say thank you to so many people. We are at 20,000 Instagram followers, which is crazy. I never thought we would get there. And it's all thanks to John. He's been working extremely, extremely hard. And he continues to have some great ideas. You can check out his live videos for our Instagram channel. And you can also check out his series, the Don't Sweat the Techniques. That is also a live series with other designers. And you can get some ideas of how they go about building just through a video chat. And I know, I know, you're probably like, it's time to move on, Garrett. Let's get to talking about the breaking news. And we're going to get right into that right now. Lego is doubling down. They are investing $1 billion in a Vietnam factory. This will be their sixth factory. This is going to be just outside Ho Chi Minh City. And you might wonder why. Well, I mean, we all know that the shortage that has been going on. But that's just in America, we've seen that. But think about Asia with such a large number of people that are interested. So this is hopefully to shore up some of those shortfalls that they've had during the pandemic and uh, for lots and lots of Lego enthusiasts to come. This is going to be over the next few years uh, and it's going to be their first carbon neutral facility, which is an excellent way to show that they are continuing to move forward and prove that they're going to do as much as they can as fast as they can to be a carbon neutral company. The Lego truck is rolling out. Lego has designed and built a wonderful truck called the Rebuild of the Holiday Magic. It's going to be touring around the SoCal area from December 11th through the 13th. It's got a bunch of stops along the way and continuing Kid Space Children's Museum, Candy Cane Lane, as well as different tours uh, and stops at the LA zoo so there's different opportunities you can definitely go and experience this and it's all about their hashtag build to give campaign and they'll be stopping at the ronald mcdonald house for their final stop and continuing to give back lego to the community so we've all been probably watching the stock market through covid and cryptocurrencies which go up and down constantly why not set yourself up for something that's more stable like lego Lego sets, as they continue to age, you know, become pretty popular. And we've seen that consistently with some of these, uh, I I don't know, gifts with purchase, Skywalker lightsaber, where I saw it was listed for $200. That's crazy. You get it for free. So, I mean, you have to spend $800 first, but then reselling is insane. Right now, it's standing at an average of 11% return year over year. So that means that if you hold on to it for quite a long time, if they don't re-release, such as they did with the Millennium Falcon, you can make a pretty good penny on a lot of these sets. So ditch that cryptocurrency and buy yourself some more Lego sets. Another Lego-inspired bar is coming to San Diego. It's going to be there from March 18th through the 22nd at a secret location, and tickets are going to cost $22. There's a 90-minute session where you can build Lego and win some prizes. And it's going to have over 1 million bricks. And you got to be 21 and up to go. Definitely something fun for all those Lego-loving adults out there, or as we call them, AFOLs. I would love to get out there. Hopefully, um, I can make a trip. Lego is launching a new beta program called the Build Together. This program is going to be launched onto Lego's building instruction app. This is designed to have upwards of five people to build together as a group Uh, There are only six sets right now. Most of them are city sets. There's also the Creator Expert Bookshop that you can build together in a different innovative way. It's going to be launched uh, on December 13th, designed by the idea that came through by Dominic Brashminsky. And uh, I think this is a really cool idea. I think having everybody as a group kind of building, maybe it gives you the full set and you can build different ideas through that set. 
it gives uh, you a chance to build as a group instead of just as an individual basis. I know that there are some sets you can split up, uh, but it's not as easy, and this might be a fun way to interact with a full group. Lego likes to give their employees a holiday gift. This gift is exclusive to only the employees of Lego, and over the years it's been some very creative sets, and they've also done some that are specifically designed for the holiday season. And this year is a Ninjago temple that has a lot of great little uh, minifigs, but also has uh, one of the temples covered in snow. And for all those people that love Ninjago, such as Steven, another one of our podcast guests, uh, this is going to be hard to get. <laughs> uh, expecting it to sell for a pretty penny. It is a nice little set. Definitely something fun to add into, not just they did Star Wars last year and they've done other things previously. At the beginning of each year on January 1st, LEGO usually releases a good many sets to kick off the new year. There are a few sets, but two that I am going to note today are the Sunflowers 40524. This is a similar style to uh, the tulips and the roses that they made. It's a two pack, so it seems that you can grab a couple of these and build up your own sunflower bouquet or add them to the other bouquets that you have and the 40540 lion dance guy so it's in similar fashion to what we saw last year for the dragon dance guy this is the lion dance guy uh, so it's part of the chinese new year sets hopefully we'll continue to get these they're really cool has a really cool headpiece and uh googly eyes almost <laughs> uh and uh, continuing in the break set line is just fun uh, and it, they've noticed that it's still working, so they're going to continue to do it through at least 2022. Lego's creator line has created the Majestic Tiger 31129. This set is a beautiful design of a tiger with some great striping that you can have it in different poses. But one thing that is uh, really interesting in particular is the rear end of it. Um, it seems that they've decided to add a little pink one by one stud to represent well the butt it is pretty funny definitely some more realistic line build instead of you know i guess not having that but does it have to be pink yes because that makes it funnier lego masters if you've watched it they've done two seasons in the united states and many across the world and a lot of people were waiting to see if fox would renew it and it turns out that they are Season 3 of LEGO Masters will be on Fox this coming fall. Super excited to see who will be the contestants this year and what challenges they'll have. I, I think that they've done a really great job in showing the different uh, dynamics of the teams, but also looking and seeing how, oh, uh, let's make some difficult challenges here and how these teams might go about building these massive structures in a very small bit of time. If you haven't watched it, definitely check it out on Fox. And you can even recap some of them on YouTube. Christmas is a time of giving, and it seems that Lego has decided not to give. Well, not completely. The second Christmas gift with purchase has been canceled. This was Mr. and Mrs. Claus living room set. They usually do two pairs, similar to the one that they just gave out for VIP weekend. Uh, but they've decided to cancel it. And it says, we've decided not to release this product as it doesn't meet our strict quality standards. Because we work so hard to provide the best possible play experience, we never compromise the quality of our products. Now, looking at the image, I don't really know where, where they are going to have a quality issue. Um, maybe uh, the dress skirt for uh, Mrs. Claus or the list that he's checking twice, Santa is checking twice. I'm not sure. I, I think that they just didn't have a good supply run and they didn't prepare ahead enough because it's almost the end of December. Maybe we'll see it come out in another year but or on the shelf somewhere and I would love to grab one. Hanukkah is this week and that doesn't mean that if you're not celebrating Christmas you can't celebrate Hanukkah with Lego. In Greenwood Village, Colorado on the 8th night of Hanukkah this coming Sunday there's a group of Jewish teens that are going to be building the largest lego dreidel they purchased over 300 excuse me 30,000 lego bricks in order to create a eight foot massive dreidel there was over 300 teens that were working on this creation and hope to reveal it this sunday at the concert that they're going to be holding it's going to be held at daytona street in greenwood village 
Tickets are $25 from 6 to 8 p.m. on Sunday. So if you want to go see the largest Lego dreidel, there's your location and go check it out. Target is always a buzz during the Christmas season, but now a lot of a are headed out to get some Lego apparel. This past Saturday, Lego released their collection with Target. So there's a bunch of clothing, uh, some handbags, some plush figures, and uh, just a bunch of really cool things. You could also have gotten it online, and you can still get it. Not everything is available, though. This was a limited edition collection, so a lot of things sold out extremely quickly. I had to purchase the two mugs that I wanted through the online site and had to have my parents pick it up in my hometown in Pittsburgh. That It's crazy that that had to happen, but I'm just glad that I was able to get them. I hope that if you see anything that you wanted, you were able to get, and if not, you can check out online and get the resale uh, items that are on eBay for about four times the cost. Who doesn't want to continue building Lego and supporting a great cause? In Germany, a retailer, BJ Spildwaren, uh, designed a b- Bad Batch mosaic, and in his store, a bunch of people came and built it, and now parts of it are being sold off. You can get a section of it for 35 euro at 16 by 16 stud section, and this is going to uh, help kindergartens and schools in the area of North Rhine-Westphalia in Germany from the recently destructive flooding that had happened this past year. Uh, this mosaic is a really great idea, definitely a fun way to engage in the community to help support that, and you get a little bit of Lego in the end that you know is helping schools in need. Okay, I'm a huge fan of the Lego Train series, and I wish they would continue coming out with more, and maybe they will in the future here, but right now, I just go back to getting my old sets out and building them for maybe running them around the tree, and a Lego users group has gone and done that at the Illinois Kennegan Parks Visitor Center. The Northern Illinois Lego Train Club is hosting their annual Lego Train Expo. It's a beautiful way to display Lego and get kids to have fun. And I mean, train sets are awesome, and especially around Christmas time. And seeing this build is really going to hopefully inspire people and continue building on the brand of Lego Train and seeing all the cool creations that you can do. And finally, the one you've all been waiting for, the biggest news of the week, the newest modular build was revealed. This is the Boutique Hotel 10297. It's an 18 plus rating at 3,066 pieces and will retail for $200. Now that's in the upper range, not the most expensive as we know of the 10 year anniversary. This is the 15 year anniversary of the Lego modular sets. The ground floor is a lobby with an art gallery. Then there's a terrace and an art gallery reception and palm tree. The first floor has hotel rooms. The second floor, the penthouse suite, and the roof has a decorative dome. Now, what's interesting about this build is it has a um, angled side of the building. Not just one section, but all the way up to the rooftop. It's unique because we haven't seen this in a modular build. We've seen some standard building sides, but this is a Uh, change that is uh, welcomed and they've got some beautiful colors uh, more of the creamy tan uh, and the artwork does some callbacks to Galador very cool if you see it I I was a big Galador fan as a kid so this is really cool to me and they also have some other really cool little details I'm interested to seeing the set in person and I still have to get the other two sets we got the police station and the uh, the bookshop before I even get this so I'm going to, I, I got to put some money away to hopefully get this set soon as well. And that's all we have for the breaking news this week. I hope you learned a lot that Lego is continuing to build and you should continue to build too. This is Christmas season, so get out there and buy some more sets, not only for you, but uh, everybody else around you, especially your niece and nephews, so you can get them hooked early and continue building their collections as well. This week, we're going to have a designer interview, but next week, we're, uh, we might have something special going on for the holiday. Stay tuned, everybody. Make sure to subscribe so you can hear that. You can subscribe at your favorite podcast listening apps, such as Spotify and Apple, and uh, make sure to follow us on Back to Brick, too, if you're not one of the 20,000 people that already have. If you're looking to sponsor on this podcast, we're really looking for people that are interested in, you know, putting out their brand. And we know we have a great clientele that love to listen to this podcast and probably love your products as well. 
So happy holidays and continue in the holiday spirit. I'll leave you as I always do. Get creative, get out there, and go build something.